Imagine this, you wake up all fresh and ready to get your day started. You grab your phone from your nightstand, only to realize that it's 9am. Not only have you managed to snooze through all your alarms, but you were also 15 minutes late for a meeting that your boss deemed compulsory you attended. Now imagine yourself panicking, running around, turning your place upside down, looking for your car key so you can bolt out the door. After a few very stressful minutes, you finally get ready to leave, only to realize that you don't have your wallet on you. Sound like you? Well, your days of worry and distress are about to end because Apple has got you covered. After years of speculations and rumors, during the spring event of 2021, Apple unveiled its long-awaited product, the AirTag. This small button-shaped device is designed to allow consumers to track valuables like keys, cards, remotes, AirPods, wallets, and any other item that may get easily misplaced. The tagged items can be tracked via Bluetooth alongside other Apple devices in Find My Applications. These tiny little devices were made available for pre-order on Friday, April 23rd, and were officially launched on April 30th. They can be purchased directly from the Apple Store for $29 per piece, or you can get your hands on a much affordable set of four priced at $99. The box itself comes only with a safety and handling manual, along with a guide and the AirTag itself. It doesn't include any accessories that will allow you to attach the AirTag to your item of choice, so you'll probably want some keychain attachments, or else you'll just end up losing it as well. While you can purchase a regular keychain ring off the rack for a few bucks, the ones offered by Apple range from anywhere between $12 to $450. Yeah, you heard it right, $450. $50 worth of Hermes keychain for a single AirTag. My poor self would be more worried about losing that keychain than the item it's attached to. Talking about the aesthetics and the outlook, the AirTag appears like a small button-shaped device with a glossy white font and a stainless steel silver back. One cool feature is that you can give your AirTag a more personalized touch by customizing the font on the front with an engraving of your choice. Each AirTag can be engraved with up to four letters or emojis, although there are some restrictions due to the limitation of space, but other than that, you can get pretty much anything you want on it. The AirTags also feature IP67 water and dust resistance rating, allowing them to withstand immersion in 3.3 feet or 1 meter of water for up to 30 minutes. If you're wondering how the AirTags are supposed to be charged, let us enlighten you with a piece of information that is not too Apple-like. Unlike other Apple products that have been recognized for the poor battery performance, Apple created these bad boys with a replaceable CR2032 battery. The battery in the AirTag can last for up to a year. Once it requires replacement of the battery, you'll receive a notification indicating you to do the needful. The replacement process is also extremely user-friendly, and one can swap the battery out by simply pressing and twisting the back panel of the AirTag to pop it off. Another intriguing feature of these tags is the built-in speakers, which help search for them when they are lost. Once the AirTag is paired with your iOS or macOS device, the built-in speakers will allow you to find your lost item by either asking Siri to search for the lost tag or by playing the sound through the Find My app. Hey Siri, where's my wallet? At the Apple Store, buying everything in sight. However, the ultimate selling point of the AirTag has got to be the precision finding feature that combines AR, sound, and haptic feedback. This gives specific instructions and even directions to help you reach your lost AirTag down to just a couple of feet. However, the catch for this feature is that you must be less than 30 feet away from the AirTag. With all that we've stated so far, the real question remains, how can you expect a person who loses things easily to not end up losing the AirTag itself. Well, the geniuses at Apple have thought about that as well. This is where the already existing ecosystem of Apple products comes into play. When your AirTag comes into contact with surrounding iPhones via Bluetooth, these devices will be able to pair with the AirTag while updating its location. Hence, if the owner has put the AirTag in lost mode, the location will be delivered to them through the Find My network. 
Another added advantage is that if anyone finds your tagged item, they can scan it to bring up the owner's contact information or their location. Any smartphone equipped with NFC can be used for this purpose and doesn't necessarily have to be an iPhone. After Apple's Spring 2021 event, a few questions regarding the privacy and security of the consumers were raised regarding the AirTags. People were left wondering whether these tags could be used for secretive and unwanted tracking purposes. Purposes. Talk about your obsessed ex slipping a tag into your belongings to stalk you, <laughs> yikes. You wouldn't want that, would you? Well, you have nothing to be worried about because Apple has added built-in security restrictions to the new product. If an AirTag owned by someone else is amid your belongings, your phone will send you an alert, letting you know that an unwanted tag is present in your surroundings. Although these alerts are only triggered if the tag is separated from its own, having friends and family nearby with AirTags shouldn't be an issue. Well, that's the down and the low on the AirTags. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please make sure that you do. It means a lot to us. And also, please press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on our new videos. Till then, that's a wrap. We'll see you around in another video.